Hey guys, today we're going to be shooting this single story, 1,000 square foot home in Apache Junction. Uh, first things first, we're going to go through the house and get it ready for photos. So let's get started. All right, so first thing I'm looking at right here is the trash can. It's going to be uh, kind of in a bad spot for the front shot. What I typically like to do is just roll it out to the street. And then on my front shots, I'll pick angles that don't show it. So I'll, let's see, I'm thinking that I'll shoot right here. So I'm just going to have it right here. It should be uh, out of the way. And there's a lot of cleanup and the landscape's just dirt. Uh, so I'm not going to be too picky. I mean, there's some trash here I'm not going to worry about. The hose is somewhat wound up. It's behind a bush, so I'm not too concerned about it. All right, so I'm going to look up the lockbox code. We got it here. All right. All right, I usually like to shut this while we're shooting. I'm even scramble it just in case somebody walks up so that they don't have the real code. I'm gonna put the key in my back pocket. First thing that I'm looking at is that it's missing some of the covers. Hopefully there's electricity. Maybe it's this switch. Yeah. I don't want that fast fan. All right, that sounds off. I'll come back. Hopefully that turned it off. All right. So it looks like they did some remodeling somewhat, I guess. These look like new countertops they painted. Not so great, but I mean, it looks probably better than what it did. These are all kind of broken, but it's got a little bit of curb appeal, a little more modern than uh, probably what it looked like before. Um, here we have paint buckets. What we'll probably do for this shot, which I'm gonna shoot the backyard last. So what I'm gonna do is move these out on the back porch. so that we don't show up in the laundry room shot. Now we reveal a bunch of dirty bucket. I thought that was a scorpion or something. I'm not gonna clean that up, but at least you don't have these big paint cans in the shot. All right, so the fan did turn off. Any single pane windows, that one's got a crack in it. All right, we have a sign on this door right here. Hopefully it's not all uh, wet. What I'm gonna do right here, very important touch up, not, do not use until, okay, so it's already done. I'm gonna put this warning right here. I'm just gonna move it. I'll put it back on the door once we're done. I'm just gonna put it right here on the side of the cabinet so it's not in the shot. They have something over this the, uh, shower. And the shower doesn't look, well, Actually, this isn't a shower, it's just a bath. There's no shower head, but they got some plastic covering. I don't know if they're still working on it, so I'm not gonna touch that. I'm just gonna leave it as is. I don't think it's gonna be too distracting. Oh, there's a shower right here as well. Oh, okay, so it does have a, it has a bath and it has a shower right here. I didn't even notice the shower. So I'll make sure to get a second angle in here. Um, it looks like, like I'm not, I'm not even gonna, it's pretty tough to open. I'm not gonna try to force it open. So I'm just gonna make sure to get an angle that shows it. I'm not gonna force it open. We have here just regular closet. And we'll turn off the fan. I got these strings wrong. Ah, I turned it on full speed. I think it's three levels there. And this, like, I don't think they have a master, there's no light in here. I don't think they, this might be considered a master. This is a pretty small house, so um, we may get pictures of that closet. It's a walk-in closet, it's small, but actually this room is a little bit bigger, so this one may be considered the master. And... So 
I'll probably, I mean, not the best looking uh, closet, but I'll probably get a picture of it uh, open and shut. I'll probably start with it shut for the shots, and then when I shoot the closet, I'll probably just pick a straight on shot with the doors open. All right, let's go. I think that closet, I think that's it for the house. Now let's head out back and see what we have. It looks pretty rough um, looking out here. I'll make sure to put the paint buckets back. But being that this is the condition of the backyard, we have, oh my gosh. Oh, well, we got a nice ladder. We have, looks like some old pool equipment or it looks like it was a spot at one point in time. So even those buckets sitting outside don't make it um, that, I guess, too appealing. Oh my gosh, are these bugs? Look at all these red bugs. All right. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. Wow, that's a lot of red bugs. All right, so uh, uh, I'll focus on this porch a little bit because I think they remodeled this. This is probably one of the nicer spots. It's got a new, looks like a new water heater, and I can get a good shot of the porch here, I'll put the buckets back in the, in the laundry room. And then the backyard, well, my, my thought process right now is probably get a straight on shot from the middle here, out here, because this is probably um, the best um, angle in here without all this mess. And then we'll move to the back and shoot from the back straight on. Obviously, I'm not gonna move that ladder, but um, the closer we are to the house, the more magnified uh, the mess will be here so um, I still may take a shot maybe from here a little bit closer to get an idea but I think further back where some of these features look smaller um, will look better and then you know I'll get a shot that shows that there's a nice storage shed out here because there's really not a whole lot of storage um, in the house so that might be a nice selling feature or uh, feature for the uh, a new buyer all right so so really you just got to use your your judgment on on the condition of the house and what we could do that actually makes an impact on the the photos like somebody could probably spend a half a day out there cleaning up the backyard obviously they didn't think that was a good use of time so Honestly, the agent might not even use any of the back photos. I think the front photos look good. We'll, we'll obviously deliver them all the photos that we feel um, will make the home look good. But um, anyways, so that's it. So uh, now the home is prepared for photos. So now we're going to head out front, get the camera and start shooting. All right, so we're back out front. First things first, we're going to start with the center shot um, of the property. Now the sun's still pretty low over here. So... Uh, let me see, I don't want it to be too bright. Um, it's actually not bad. So in, in this shot, we have uh, a, a neighboring car pretty close to the side of the house. We could zoom in and get it out, but then I'm clipping, or I'm pretty close to clipping, so I'm probably gonna back it out just a little bit. I'll leave it like that. Hold on, let me update my... Uh, my bracket settings now that I have my trigger. So shooting mode, whoops, not that. Drive mode, bracket settings. So I'll put it on a, uh, whoops. I did take a shot, hold on. All right, I'm gonna move to the left here because the entry is that way. Now this is, the sh I guess the sun is high enough and I'm gonna review the shot so I'm just gonna try to get the fence and then the house here now let me review it here I'm just looking to see so the sun's there so I got a good detail in the darker frame so I think it'll turn out all right now the, the lighting on this shot's probably gonna be the best because it's away from the harsh light we have that neighboring car it's going to be hard to avoid it or it's definitely going to be in this shot 
Um, but I'll try to just zoom in enough to where it's not that visible. And that's in a spot where we could actually spot it out if we wanted to in the, in the editing process. Um, what I'm also gonna get, I got a straight on shot here. But I like how like this, you have this entryway, you have this carport. I'm gonna see if I might get a closer up wide shot here. Obviously we still have that car in the way, but just kind of as we're going into this house. It's a pretty small house. I'm just trying to think of things that will help sell the home um, as I go through here. Now this is a nice looking shot because it's freshly painted, got a nice little fixture. Um, there's a reflection, so I'm gonna do the two second timer and step out of the way. All right. And this porch, is, porch area is nice as well. I don't, I don't think there's a good angle we can get. It just looks like dirt. So I think the shot that we did get is probably as good as it's gonna get um, in this area. Try not to fall there. All right, so like I usually walk through a house, step on the other side of the door, try to get a straight on shot of what it looks like. Uh, I'm not a big fan of this since there's just a wall right here, but I'm gonna take it just to have it. I'm gonna lower the camera just a little bit because the ceilings are not that high. All right, now I'm gonna turn into the main room here. I'm gonna get the opposite direction. And there's only so many rooms in this house, so I'm gonna, try, I'm gonna be pretty thorough. I'm also gonna grab this angle shooting back this way to show how it flows to the kitchen. Straighten that out a bit. And then we could get a straight on shot here, looking at the door, which I might as well grab. All right. Now, do I want a shot that's showing going in? I don't think so. That doesn't look too good. I'm gonna get back here, try to get this area looking as wide as possible. So we're getting kind of the laundry room area as well. We'll isolate the kitchen here on this next shot. We'll get a straight on shot here in the kitchen. Let's see. Oh, it's hard with this monitor. I'm trying not to get the, have these uh, cabinets look distorted. Right, that looks all right. All right. I'm going to focus in a little bit on these countertops just because they, I know that they, they replaced them recently for this remodel job. And then I see um, there's some brand new fixtures right here. So I'm going to uh, focus on those as well. It's hard to get this shot with the monitor side. All right, now I can see my feet in the, in the reflection of the oven, so I'm gonna do a two second timer and get out of the reflection. And then I'm gonna do the same kind of thing, looking out this way. Looks like it's got a new uh, washing, or sorry, dishwasher as well. No reflection in this one, so I'm not worried about it. Um, this is a nice sink as well, a brand new sink with the sink fixture. So um, I'll take a nice picture of this as well. Now we could get, I'm going to review what I have so far in the kitchen. Man, that shot is really crooked. I did not, I was not looking. It's harder than it might look when you're trying to look at this monitor to straighten your camera versus this one right here. Let me see. Yeah, see, now my camera looks straight. If I look at my camera right here, it looks straight, but then it doesn't look straight. Either the house is crooked or my shot is crooked. All right, I'm gonna go with that. That looks better. And now it doesn't have to be perfect. I know that I can ad uh, adjust the lines in the editing process, but yeah, that looks much better. All right, so now I'm gonna shoot from this side, I'm getting the opposite direction, 
in the kitchen. Actually, I like this shot. You can see a lot. All right. And then this is kind of the, the uh, eating area. There would be potentially a, a table right here. So I'm gonna just take a shot of, of that area. I'm not gonna worry about a bunch of different angles in there. Um, since I'm gonna head out, I'm gonna get the laundry room um, in the backyard. And since the carport as well, I'll probably get a picture of just the carport, kind of like the garage. So I'll treat it as like a room when we go out there. Uh, but right now I'll focus on these main rooms. So I'm gonna get a picture um, just going down this hall. And I'm just gonna start here on the right. And now in this bathroom, I'm gonna get a couple angles because there is that shark. You can actually see it in this sh shot. Um, you can see it in the reflection. This is probably the shot that the agent will be using. That looks good. But if somebody's not looking at the reflection, I wanna make sure to capture this, even though this uh, does not leave much space to, to work with. I'm gonna shut that a little bit. All right, shoot this real quick. That looks straight to me. All right, so now let's move on. I'm just gonna stick to this side here. Now that door is open. I'm gonna shut it. I typically don't like doors like this just being open in the shots. I know I open it, it has a walk-in closet. But we'll get a shot with it closed. And then we can get a shot with it open as well if we want. So I'm gonna come in here to the Opposite corner. And then uh, since it is a walk-in closet and there's not a whole lot of features in this house, I'm gonna, I'm gonna capture it. Just kind of in here, there's no light in there. So I'm just gonna do my best from outside. All right, we'll show that. And we'll come into this other room. All right, now we'll move into the opposite corner. Or actually, so we could do this angle, but it's just showing the house. I don't think that's a very good selling uh, feature of the home, as how you can pretty much just see the neighbor. So I'm not gonna highlight that or focus on it. All right, so I got this, and now I'm gonna open these up, get that closet shot. Maybe that looks pretty straight. All right, now I'm gonna shut these. All right, so I think that's it for this uh, part of the home. So now we'll do um, the laundry room here, the carport, and the, uh, in the backyard. I'm just gonna do a, do a straight on shot here. And then I'll, uh, let me see, I'll get another angle right here because I think this one adds value as well where you can kind of see outside to the carport how it's connected. In the other shot, you did see that the bath, or sorry, the backyard is right there. Now let's do the carport. So I'm not gonna shoot a shot looking out that way at the street, it's not very appealing. Um, what I am gonna focus on is kind of at the entryway of the uh, carport here, just looking back in here, just to show what it looks like. I guess in theory, Looks like at one point in time somebody had some doors right here. So you could enclose this and make it a, a shop or more of a garage instead of a carport. All right, that's gonna do it for the carport. And I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and put those paint cans 
uh, back where I found them. shoot the backyard so looking out this way I mean we could get a shot I don't think it's the best shot but I'll get a straight on shot this plastic piece of plastic I'm just gonna move it out of the shot all right now the better angle in the in here is going to be um, this porch looking back at into that kind of the covered patio area. I'm seeing my shadow here, so I'm gonna get out of the way or try attempt to. All right. Try not to trip on some of these red bugs that are back here. Um, we could also do a straight on shot right here. That bush doesn't look all that great, but um, we'll go ahead and shoot it. Let me see. Okay, so we got that. Now I'm going to come to this shot right here. Just get kind of towards the back of the um, backyard. I mean, the, honestly, as bad as this is, it's, it is one of the selling features because um, the lot is pretty big. Sorry, let me go ahead and capture a shot of that storage. All right, now we'll head out to the back. And uh, yeah, th this shot will definitely help to show how big the lot is because it is a sizable lot. Um, you can fit a lot of stuff back here. All right, so I'm gonna go pretty much full wide back here. So we'll get a straight on shot. And I wouldn't go on the opposite side of that camper shell. But I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna come into the shade just so that uh, uh, my shadow is not showing up in the, the pictures. And then over here, I'm gonna take a picture on uh, the left, on closer towards the house on this side of the camper shell so that Obviously, that would be a big obstruction if I was shooting um, the home. All right. So I think uh, we're just about finished. And now I'm just thinking, you know, is that a selling feature? No. Is this much of a selling feature? I don't think so. To somebody potentially, they could see that they could have a spa back here. Obviously, it's gonna need a lot of work to refurbish. Do I really wanna capture that? I mean, I'll go ahead and take the picture. Agent can decide if they wanna use it. I probably would not. All right, so now I'm just doing my mental checklist of the home. Seeing if there are any additional angles that, or just thinking if there's any additional angles that I think would help sell this particular property. Um, and I know I actually didn't get an angle this way in the kitchen here, so this might be a nice one to add. Uh, I'm gonna zoom in to not show that wall. So we have the kitchen and then we have, uh, we can see how it flows into that main living area. Um, if this, if I didn't have this monitor here, I probably would move in here so you could go wider and then take a shot, which I'll, I'll do as well. So there's a couple ways to get that shot, depending on what angles you could get. All right, guys, so we're finished with the photos of this particular home. As usual, before we leave, we're going to put the property back in the condition we found it, lock up, turn the lights off and put any items that we moved away for our photos back where they were. So reach out if you guys have any questions. We'll see you guys on the next one.